Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to do series four of our PCS series and today we're going to talk about what is in our unaccompanied baggage. Now unaccompanied baggage, like I've said in many videos before, you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but the unaccompanied baggage is basically what is air flown to your duty station and that is the stuff that you get almost right away. I believe it takes 30 to 45 days for it to get there from the time that it's picked up here or wherever you are and it's readily available so if you get into housing earlier this is the stuff that you kind of want right away that you'll be able to use um, that way you're not buying too many things when you first get to your base and then you know you end up with doubles so. this is the first time we're actually making use of all the weight that we're given for the thousand pounds normally we don't it's not a big deal for us because we usually go on vacation our stuff is usually waiting for us whenever we get there but this time we're going straight to our duty station or Ryan's duty station and so I'm, t I'm utilizing the thousand pounds that we're given so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have so far and Hopefully this will help you out. If you have any suggestions for me on what to pack in my unaccompanied baggage, they don't pick it up for another two weeks. So definitely let me know in the comments down below. And I'm gonna go ahead and move right on, um, right on into the video. So the first thing is really random, but it's just Liana's backing for her new car seat that we got her. This attaches to the booster part of the car seat. And so we figured with us traveling, uh, it would be just a lot easier just to put her in the booster because she does, she can use the booster seat by itself. But for me, I still like to have the backing, so I'm going to keep this. And once we get to Japan and we get our unaccompanied baggage, I'll be able to put this together and put it in whatever new vehicle that we have over there. And then the next item is my vacuum, and it's dirty, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do have to clean it before it gets packed. We are taking this because, you know, when you move into housing, you're living in there already, you want to make sure that your floors are clean, obviously. And with kids, it gets dirty. You know, carpets get dirty, floors get dirty. Plus, we're staying in the house a week after our big stuff gets packed out. So I want to be able to vacuum after the packers, like, take everything out. You know, I don't want to leave the house a mess. I'm going to go ahead and push that out of the way. And I'm going to start off with this really big bag behind me right here. So in this bag, it's ginormous, ugh, but um, these are the Ziploc storage bags. They come in a different shapes and sizes, not shapes and sizes, but different sizes. And the one that I got is, um, let me go get the box. These are the Ziploc space bags. They're vacuum seal cubes, airtight and watertight seal. This is the combo. It comes with the large cube, extra large cube, and jumbo cube. So there's three in there. And so this is the jumbo. Yep, this is the jumbo. And basically what I have in here, I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, it's heavy. At the bottom is just a comforter set for Liana. This one is a comforter set for Ryan and I. And then there's some, some extra blankets. And then right here is RJ's duvet cover and his uh, comforter for that. And then I believe there's like a gi for Ryan because he does jujitsu. He is bringing one in his luggage, but he wants to have an extra one because you know, gis tend to get really dirty. So um, yeah, that's everything that's in here. I think I am about done with this bag. So I'm probably gonna seal this and vacuum this pretty soon. So in this little bucket right here, I just have things for the kids. This is kind of like their arts and crafts. But on top, I just laid in there. Um, these are shower curtain liners, and they're by the Target line, the Threshold. I, le I think they were like $5.99, and I had um, the Cartwell app. If you don't have the Cart Cartwell app, you need to download it because there's tons of Target coupons in there. Um, and then sometimes it like matches with their sales, so you get like an awesome deal. So definitely check that out. And then the kids just have some movies in here, some movies that, uh, are these the movies that they're taking? Yeah, these are actually the movies that they're taking. These are the only ones that they wanted to bring out of like 5 million that they have. So uh, I went ahead and just, I'm gonna keep the case in here just so that we can put the movies back in here once we're done traveling. So in here, I just have tons of coloring books for the kids, they love to color. And I have Liana's little art thing here. And then we just have their box of crayons. Um, their tub of markers 
and what else do we have in here we have some playing cards uh scrabble cards phase 10 cards i love phase 10 do you guys like phase 10 and then we just have this little set here and it's just, it's by leapfrog it's the my card games and it has a bunch of little card games in there like go fish match math rummy it's pretty good uh he received this already received this as a gift and we love playing with this, so I figured we would pack that for, you know, days that they get bored and I don't want them on electronics <laughs> because my kids are addicted. Are your kids addicted? Because my kids are addicted. I ain't gonna lie. I love them. Usually during the school year, Artie's not allowed on his video games on the weekdays, so it's summer break. I'm just letting him have at it. Plus, we're transitioning. So that's my excuse. <laughs> Move on. I turned the camera just a little bit for you. Uh, as you can see in the background, there is an air mattress. The reason why we're packing our air mattress in our unaccompanied baggage is solely for the use of while we're still here. We're gonna be staying in the house for about a week after they pack us out, because we are getting packed out about a month early so that we have something to sleep on while we're still in the house. And uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way. But yeah, that's totally up to you if you want to pack an air mattress because when you go overseas usually government housing will not government housing the government will lend you loaner furniture sorry i couldn't find the word they did that when we went to japan and i'm pretty sure they do that in every overseas base this is the smaller the smallest one this is the large and as you can see i've already vacuum sealed it it's very compact and it like shrunk a lot so i was pretty amazed by it because the last time that Ryan and I try to use one of these little baggies, it just didn't work out. So I'm a believer now <laughs> in the space saver bag. But anyways, there's just extra blankets in here, kitty towels, um, more towels, my head towel, my wrap, more pillow cases, and yeah, just towels basically. So yeah, that's everything that's in here. And then uh, the reason why we're packing bed linen is because they do give you loaner furniture, so they don't give you bed sheets and all that stuff. So you kind of either have to buy your own or pack it in your unaccompanied baggage. And I don't like to spend money where I already have the things and I have extra of them. So I just go ahead and pack them in there. So this is the extra large cube. It kind of looks funky because of the pillow, the way that I set the pillows in there. But these are basically just pillows. And I believe there's like a bed sheet, a fitted sheet and an extra blanket in there. So that's everything that's there. Now I'm gonna pick up the camera and then I'll show you guys the other parts. In this, here's the last piece that I have up here in this room, which is where I'm kind of storing everything. In here, I'm not gonna open it up because it took me a little bit to close it, but in here basically there's just an extra uniform for Ryan, um, some gym clothes, some house clothes, more clothes for the kids, a lot, of this is RJ's clothes because he does start school about two weeks after we get there so I want to make sure that he has a decent amount of clothes before our household could get there that way once he's in school you know he's not wearing the same thing over and over and over so yep that's everything I'm gonna go ahead and roll right into the clip of the kitchen stuff and then the TV all I'm packing is a few pots and pans and some cups for the kids and some cups for Ryan and I, just plastic ones. I didn't want to pack anything glass because um, this is going air, so they usually kind of throw things around. And just some mixing bowls and a little small egg fryer. And then in here, I just have some utensils that we use a lot, a deeper baking dish and our baking pans. And here, I just have some plastic spoon and forks and some of the kids Ikea ones. This is just what we have left over in our pantry so I just decided to throw it in there. Um, this is not going, that's the kids. I have an apple slicer because the kids love to eat fruits. This is our Spam Masubi maker. We make a lot of that so I decided to pack that. And here's just some mixing bowls. And then also going with our unaccompanied baggage is going to be of course our rice cooker and this and is the tv that we're bringing but this one has a dvd player built into it so it works out pretty well so yeah that's the last item that's going in our unaccompanied baggage so really hope you guys enjoyed this video that's everything that we're packing in our unaccompanied baggage 
if you guys enjoyed the video definitely let me know in the comments down below also I wanted to add if you guys have any tips or suggestions or you know can think of something that maybe I'm not thinking of that I'm not packing in our unaccompanied baggage definitely leave me a comment down below because I know even though I've only PCS like three or four times I could always use help and I could always learn from you as well as you learning from me so with that being said I wanted to put that out there that I hope that you guys aren't thinking that I feel like I know everything about PCSing overseas or I know everything about PCSing. The reason why I'm doing this series is basically just to kind of keep you guys up to date besides our vlogs on what's going on with us and our journey and the process and you know if I could help one military family or two or a dozen that's my goal that that would be amazing for me to help another family you know because a lot of people have helped us along the way so we want to help others and yeah I just wanted to throw that out there because I don't want our videos to come off like hey guys you should listen to us because we know because sometimes we don't you know we still use Google so Google is my best friend sometimes and if I can't find the answer I'll definitely call AFRC or you know wherever and get the answer for you if you need help so Definitely let me know and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave me a comment down below. I said that already. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you haven't. The PCS series is going to be a long one because we're going to take you through each step of the way. Our next video is going to be... I'm not sure. You'll have to stay tuned. Uh, videos go up every Friday for this series. Sometimes Saturday and I apologize about that. Sometimes it takes me a while to film these things or even gather up the ideas. So if you have any ideas or if you would like to know more about a certain something, let me know down below as well. And we will catch you guys in our next video. Bye.